Welcome to the live before the live. Welcome to the live before the live. Premature livelation, you've joined me today. Welcome, you beautiful soul. You have joined me on Monday, Valentine's Day. It's V-Day. It's a day for more than just getting gifts. It's a day for celebrating love. And I hope yours is going great so far. That you woke up next to the one that you love, or you're going to go to bed with the one you've been waiting to love. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that you came. I'm happy to have you here. Uh, it was a pretty eventful weekend. If you jumped in on the telegram group because we were sharing some very valuable information in a workshop uh then you're able to experience a brand new way of doing something when it comes to generating leads now before i even look what is it about look if you if you if you're struggling if you're looking for an income opportunity online if you were just looking at a fresh way of trying to look at finding how to connect with the people that you know you need to connect with and your business, click on a link. Oh, pardon me. Oh, no, that's what happens when you eat a plum and a pineapple. Uh, but click on the link in my bio, go click on the Telegram group, join the Telegram group and say, yo, I'm in. What is this thing you're talking about? Making money online, working from home, helping me better my ability to reach more people for my own business even. Click on the link, we'll talk about it there. Uh, and if you want to catch some of the lives from before, you can go to YouTube there. Other than like the cool stuff that like earning money and all that other things, we are a community of people that are about love, creation, inclusion, and a safe space for us to live, learn, and love together. So this is like a daily event. So if you've just stumbled in on this, well, pfft, Yes, it's the universe calling you today saying, hey, you were going to just scroll anyway. Why not just check these guys out? Give them a moment. Let's just see what this is about. I know we're talking about conspiracy or truth. We had a little bit of a change in schedule today because, uh, and that's not even important. You'll get what you need to get when you get it. And that's the way the world works. You have to just figure out how to put yourself in the position that the things that you're getting is good. Uh, and that all starts with your mindset and your perspective. And, you know, that's like some of the stuff that we'll share here. But today, we are going to be talking about um, conspiracy. Come on now. I know you probably have had these conversations or, or even better. You must have already been like, yo, dude, this is not conspiracy theory. This is conspiracy fact. Today's for you. And the big thing to do is for you to share your by putting them in the comments. You can even start off by saying, Saying hi, um, we get to the comments and we get a chance to actually read. And there's so many people in this community. You're gonna see that you're gonna say hi, I'm gonna greet you because that's just all. Um, and you already start getting a taste. And you can test drive this, this part of TikTok and decide if you want to part it. Part it? <laughs> I part it. You can decide if you want to make it a part of your life and a part of your every day if you want to join us in the group. So, welcome. My name. Hello, agent David, uh, and this is my daily live where I talk about the things that I feel we need to talk about because I am dedicated to impacting the world through connection, creation, and conversation. Jake, I'm also classy and eager, likes prat man. I'm the guy that even if it's, it doesn't matter what the I could have arrived late, and everybody said that big full tanner. I've only known two people that is maybe even really at this time and they'll come eat innocent. Uh, uh, dirty. Okay, can you just quickly go up there? But will it me and it And the only BMW that's a GP registration or must you must move his car and we can't get in it. That's why I'm a baggy so man time man in every time we visa car my economy. Then you know what ends up happening? I, I'm like, okay. <clears throat> Hello, so, sorry. Hi everybody. Hello? Now, kijk, allemaal is de fatse ouders. Die wat dat zo klink daar kost in de team leren. Maar, dan na lang dreadlock. So, okay, kost kijk, hi everybody. Um, so happy to have you here. It's lovely to be here. Thanks, I can't wait to meet each and every one of you. Would the owner... Would, would you know what thing? Would the person that is uh, currently not having children that has the BMW uh, that's parked 
in the front of the car. Can you please just move your car, man? It's sexy, but it can't park there. Showcase it somewhere else as a bloop. Anyway, listen, for everybody that's here now, my of us are carry on. I, I, so this is now a great way for me to let that out. And a nice way for me to actually not be alone is by connecting with you through the conversation. Sharing in the chats or joining in the telegram. My comments about you which were conspiracy theory. Is there truth behind this? Like, okay, let's first just, uh, what, what do you think conspiracy theories or, or based on your own, like, what are some of the conspiracy theories that you are like, okay, I'm, I'm, I've got a, I've got a legit theory that I feel is in here. Let me, let me know what you have. Let's have a look and see who, who has some conspiracy theories. Of course, we're going to have some highs. Hello. Oh, Nas, hello, Skadabor. Look at that. Oh, so nice to have you here. So happy. Hi, everyone. Hope you you guys had an amazing weekend. Yes, and that you were safe. Love it. Thank you, Naz. Uh, hi there. Trade with Shuby. Yo, go listen. If you are trying to get involved with like Forex and learning about trading, day trade, anything, go ch- trade with Shuby. Go, go look at his thing. He's got some really valuable information that will help you understand some stuff about trading that you thought you might not have known. Go check him out. Uh, asked by, what's that? That? That one dude, Stefan. I have a question. All right, that one dude, Stefan. Uh, he, uh, let's see, what is... I have a question. What is your question? Answer the question. All right, Stefan, what is your what is your question? He, I, I don't know what I just did, but I just clicked on stuff anyway. <clears throat> like to know what your conspiracy here, but let's just really go by the definition. A conspiracy theory is an explanation for an event or situation that invokes a conspiracy by sinister and powerful groups, often political. What this is basically saying is that this is a negative connotation of like implying that there's somebody out there doing something. We don't have really got proof. We don't have enough evidence. It's like a little sticky information here. You know a little bit. You don't know a little bit. And some of the very famous ones, like you can legitimately even just type this into any of your searches and you just be like, hey, I just want to quickly have a look and see uh, what conspiracy theories there are. You can do it in any one of them and you'll come up with a bunch of them. But I'm going to go to Wikipedia just so you can have that as a reference so we can all be looking at the same thing. And they're pretty, uh, what do they call them? Re- resort reliable. They're pretty reliable. They've got like a list of like the th- oh, a bunch. You can just go check. Like they're from... Um, Things in aviation, so like chemtrails, if you've never heard of something, ooh, chemtrails. Uh, I don't know if you remember that story that there was cocaine in Coke once upon a time, and apparently it was green. And okay, well, there's like stuff. Anyway, you can like learn, you can even, but deaths in the set, like this conspiracy around JFK, that's like the most famous one. A dead president, come on now. JFK, that assassination was like the one. Of all of the ones, they've done a lot of them, but like that was another one. Uh, oh, the New World Order, that's a big one that everybody was always blaming on for uh, um, things for. Some of the other conspiracy theories that we can see a lot of people talking about, oh, 9 11 uh, being an inside job. So you can literally just go and do it, even if you type in a search on your favorite search, I promise you, you're going to get so many results that you're going to ask yourself the question if conspiracy theories are. Legit, just like people saying that, hey, maybe this happened, maybe this didn't happen. Enough evidence. It's like I'm looking to explain something that, like, it actually happened, or it, it's like something that a lot of people can't agree on. And I'm just trying to figure out what's happening, and I'm not too sure if the things that we are finding out is enough to prove that it's real or not. But it's like a lot of speculation. A couple of conspiracy theories that turned out to be true. Like, <laughs> and this is the thing that that trips me most. Because it's one thing to be like, yeah, you crazy bloksom, stop smoking on that. Lekker goed ter see you are just imagining things. How can, why would someone, how can there be a new world? How can there be one group of elites controlling the whole world? It's impossible. You, I can't even control all my children in my house. How can, over an entire span of the entire world, okay, fine, you want to talk about the financial system and how you want to talk about that? I mean, come on now. People are not that stupid. But it's a theory that a lot of people still have. Now, when I have that conversation with somebody and they're like, hey, listen, this is something that I've heard. Or this, I don't approach it with just like, you stupid thing. I want to try and explore it because of this. Here are some of the conspiracy theories that turned out to be true, right? So also people were like, nah, okay, okay, yeah, it's like, um, I, I'm going to quickly go, to, yeah, I, I'm going to quickly go there. Nah, it's cool, cool. Yeah, the man is my my boy. I operate here from aliens in good and me. So here's a few of the spirit theories that were um, 
proven to actually turn out to be true. Uh, the Canadian government, <laughs> I, I mean, bigotry is just such a, dis it's a disease. The Canadian government had developed a device to help determine if federal employees were gay or not. <laughs> so this is like the gaydar. Canada, our friends, the friendly Great White North, we love them. But that was something that turned out to be true. So somebody was like, do you know what, eh? There's a machine that they're using to check and see if you're gay or not, eh? No. Yes, eh? And then all of a sudden, eh? There was an actual thing and it turned out to be true. It was called the fruit machine. And it worked by measuring the pupil dilation based on sexual stimulation. And a lot of men lost their jobs. 400 men in civil servants and in the Mounties and <laughs> yo, it's mad. But that was something that somebody was also like, they were busy sipping maple syrup tea, just like, mm. do you know they're making a thing that's gonna measure not to see if you're gay, hey? And they're like, oh, rubbish, is a day pratnet, man. Stop putting salt in your tea, you're crazy. And then it turned out to be true. Scary, very scary. Americans recruited Nazi scientists. Hold on a second, weren't they like, enemies and stuff like oh fighting like allies and stuff no 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 go oh. american recruited nazi scientists to develop the atom bomb i don't know if you guys remember what happened in hiroshima with the atom bomb and how bad that was but yeah apparently the cia during president truman insisted that nobody needs to say anything and nobody needs to know anything <clears throat> uh but we're gonna have some nazi scientists from world war ii just like make us an atom bomb and like see what happens and people are like, never, my president, are you, listen, let me tell you something, president, all right, my, my president, Truman, Truman is one of the greatest, he is, he's brought the great nation back to a place out of degradation that has, has, has made the common person feel as if you were, uh, uh, but then like, hey, listen, I go to work in, in, in America, yes, okay, Hans, he said it's true, okay, we can go and build a no, the war's over, but we can go over to them and build it. It's okay, they're going to pay us in dollar also. It's gold, it's amazing. And it turned out to be true. People were like, so that's the kind of stuff. There's more. You can do your own research. Like, I'm not saying, like, it is the facts. And there's so many different conspiracy theories out there. And I just want to touch on, on like, three areas, okay? And that's going to be my focus for today. So I'm going to talk about... Secret societies, right? Now, the fact that we all know that they are... Maybe they're, maybe they're not. The Illuminati. Uh, the, what, what are this other stuff that they call themselves? The, the, like, if you watch any TV shows and stuff, you'll see that stuff is always revealed somewhere. They always, like, show it somewhere. They're like, oh, yeah, they have, like, symbols and hidden things. And the thing with this, the secret society thing is, like, as much as I can understand the thinking when somebody says, okay, listen, <clears throat> the whole world and every being, every single human being on there it's kind of difficult to have like a couple of families that have a lot of money that are just like dedicated to like a bloodline and stuff they pff, rule the world but then you go and look at some of these companies right because this is like where it would start you're like okay listen okay thanks etienne um yeah i okay i come you okay van herbal life i did be i come and this come and it's like but i come i can hear net a bit in the time come us gaan lees gou bietjie oor wat is dit wat hulle nou praat and if you start digging a little and yes a lot of it is hypothesis but you start digging a little bit and you start noticing that a lot of family names and are tied to like specific corporations and companies that are like the umbrella or the main thing that like in what is the game of business which is acquire acquire get as much of the market as possible dominate so if you know that that is that is a con that's hey just by the way just in case you're getting a little bit sensitive or touched or whatever remember that's the economy you operate in that's the society you live in you live in a capitalistic society where you exchange your time for money where you trade things for money where money is the main goal of everything so when you look at a business even if you start one your objective is to be the best of the best to dominate that sector to have whoever is competing with you crimp they must in some cases obviously you don't you aren't that aggressive you're like okay let's all survive together and we can be happy but i mean if you want to be the best 
You gotta like really push yourself. You have to do everything everyone else isn't prepared to do. Now, if we look at some of these companies that are operating within this exact same economic system that you're working in, that I'm working in, that we're all part of, some of those family names are like tied to some of these like secret society things and who these Illuminati bloodlines and, and it's interesting because I'm like, why would somebody go through all that trouble? Why, why would I, okay, fine, I wanna waste your time, but uh, that's not a good enough reason. That's what scrolling is for. So it's interesting. So you start looking a little bit there. Then within the secret society, you know, they always talk about um, a new world order and like how there are set goals and set specific things that are gonna, like a population control. There's like apparently a, a, an ideal number that says that, okay, if you say South Africa, I mean, the whole global population, for it to be ideal, according to our standards, needs to be 500 million or 500, yeah, 500 million people. That's how many people need to be on the earth. And how do we get from 7 billion, which we are pushing, that clock is running every single day. And you know our youth is working overtime during COVID, but that clock is ticking over every day. There's gonna be like seven, eight, nine billion, billion souls on the planet. So they're like, that's far from 500 billion. What's the best way to kind of like drop that number? Oh, let's look at genetics. Let's look at vaccines. I'm not saying any of this stuff is, the, is like legit. I'm just saying that's like some of the thinking and some of the theories and some of the stuff. And why would somebody go through all that ish? Why would you go through all that trouble? It's crazy. Crazy to think. But the world, new world order is, is built on this idea that the rule of man, not the jungle. Remember that speech? Bush's daddy? The, uh, oh shit, was it? The rule of man and not the rule of the jungle shall be there for a new, a new world order, a free world, a fair world. Ah, oh, whatever, he was lying, he was talking a lot of cuck. But if you listen to the speech, you're like, whoa, subtextually, my brother, what I'm hearing you say is, um, listen, none of you guys know what you're doing um, or how to handle your shit. And I only say that because none of you actually been motivated enough to push to my level and have my kind of connections and money. But I <clears throat> know what's best because I'm on top and I'm here and you aren't. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what it sounded. It didn't sound so free and fair. So I like to dig a little bit in there and I went and I read about the sign, sign symbology, symbolism. <laughs> symbolism some of the stuff that's used in there and it's quite interesting how a lot of those things are still prevalent today like you can literally walk around in some of the buildings here in south africa and you're like whoa 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 wait isn't that um very interesting masons also involved there and that's something that really kind of like is got me thinking about some of the things that are conspiracy theories that could be truth now another thing that we always uh we all we bombarded with i don't know if you guys remember when the Documents released, the declassified um, files of the FBI or the CIA or one of the two that lie about people things. They were declassified and they were like, yo, by the way, so, um, yeah, aliens and stuff are like real. We took like, and like, we just unidentified flying object footage. We don't legit have a freaking clue of what the blood egg one, yeah. But here you go. We've been keeping it secret for like 55 years. <laughs> <laughs> so on the one side of the cynical kind of like yeah right why now part of me would be like okay thanks for trying to distract us with something that you know society is concerned with and that you've not really commented about and we've only like had like slithers of information so of course there must be something else that you're trying to do there might be something else that you are trying to get done without pay attention and what better way of doing you than putting aliens are real by the way I know you guys have been like speculating there are entire economies built on people coming to visit. Listen, I'm not saying aliens are not real. I'm not saying they are real. I am saying that there's enough evidence and enough information that I have seen, that I have looked at, that conversations I've had in bars in the free state when I was working with municipalities all by myself out in like the middle of like the Let's See Main municipality. It's like freaking nothing out there. And I'm sitting at the pub and I'm having a Brannewein and Kauk, Manali Anna Worms and Kauk, and I'm, at, I'm in this town for a week or a week and a half, and of course, Etienne Kekelbeck, I'm gonna make connection with the people, and I'm like, Hello Worm, how are you? He's like, yes, like, you're a great Afrika. I'm like, yeah, thank you, I come from the Kaap af. Fuck it, gooi weer die man nog gedok. And then we get to talking, and it's great. <clears throat> and then you find out all sorts of cool things, because people know you're only there for the week, and then you're gone. So I had conversations with people that are doctors, people that are like, 
businessmen that used to be border patrol army and used to go into and tech. They told some wild stories, dude. They said a lot of people about the school in Zimbabwe with a bunch of kids and everybody just saw this alien ship land and there was like kids and they said that they saw this talk. Weren't using words like telekinesis. I'm like, ah, wait a second. Maybe, maybe there's to this. I don't know. Because tied into like aliens and UFOs and stuff is like the idea that the earth um, is not hurtling through space. It's not this giant ball in the mass of the expanse of the universe. But in actual fact, it's like more of a flat disc. Because uh, we didn't go to the moon and stuff. Because a lot of people are like, yo, that was like pure Hollywood magic. And when you look at some of the movies and the level of the... Like, you can distinguish between reality and non-reality pretty clearly. I, I trust your judgment. And I think you're a pretty sound-minded, beautiful soul. I just think that there is sometimes when you're watching a movie or a series and you're like, holy shit, I forget that that's green screen. That whole scene with the whole town and all the trees and the what they're in a studio somewhere in Los Angeles shooting this thing, but it looks so realistic because of visual effects. So I mean if they can make movies that great, it must have started somewhere. Somebody it's not like just one day somebody woke up and like, oh, movies look cuck. I don't want to go to location anymore. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna make a G uh, virtual version and we're gonna know bro this took time it was an idea that developed a lot of people if we go back to the alien conversation a lot of people believe a lot of technology came from aliens the pyramids were built by aliens the the fact that they aligned with constellations and stars and the Nazca lines in the southern parts of uh, South America which look like freaking airline runway things <clears throat> A whole bunch of things. Okay, like I'm, I'm not even scratching the surface here. I'm just dropping some things that I'm hoping you're going to be like, oh, that's pretty interesting. Let me go and check up about it. But that's like the whole concept that there's like this dome. I don't know if you saw even in the media, the like in the movie, the home, the Simpsons movie, like he was in a dome. There's some mentions to like the firmament every now and then. And I don't want to bring religion into it, but a lot of religion, if you like start digging into this and all of those things come into place. Like why is the story common? A, like a, across all of them. Why, why, why is it kind of like a similar story, like different names, different... Now, I'm not challenging your faith. I'm not challenging your belief. You believe what you believe because you believe it and that is what is true. What I'm saying is there are some things that are being said and people are spending their lives dedicating their time to figuring out whether or not this is true or not. That are like, even if there is no possibility of being honest... If you have to say, I'm honest, I can't, I can't have any way of us proving that there are aliens or not unless we have actual freaking every single human being ends up seeing like a full or not a projection, but like a, that's the only real way, like an invasion. Yeah, sure. We can speculate, we can talk. I know we can say that, you know, other than the dome that we might be living in, that comes to the next idea that, you know, other than flat earth, that we're living in a simulation, that we're part of a computer program, that we're some brain in a vat, and this is just some dream we're having. I mean, there's some wild theories out there. Some people are out here busy asking questions that you might not even, that you're dismiss, dismissing immediately because you didn't even think of them. But it's interesting to think about. Like in the simulation theory, it brings some of the stuff that they that, that helps support this idea is the Mandela effect. I don't know if you're familiar with the Mandela effect. This is something that is super interesting. And I spent like a good bunch of hours when I first learned about Mandela effect a few years ago, I was like, whoa, this is blowing my mind. So the Mandela effect refers to a situation in which a large mass of people. So like, think of the general population. The, a large mass. Some of people, even some definitions say like 50% of the people believe that an event has occurred that didn't happen. That something is that didn't really even is. Some of the most famous examples are, are like the example of Mandela, like Madiba. They said that Madiba died long ago, but he didn't. And then some people believe that, yeah, no, actually Madiba only died now recently. And there's like, no, no, he's been dead for forever. And actually we, we remember him dying. There's, it's really, really interesting when you start looking at some of the effects, but some of the other ones are very interesting when it comes to like logos. You'll see there's like logo signs. Like if you remember Monopoly, did he have a thingy in his eye or did he not have a thingy in his eye? And then it's like, okay, but some, half of the population in some definitions 
But a large population, a large portion of the population believes something to have happened that didn't. Some people believe that JFK, when he was shot, was in a six-seater limousine. Other people are like, no, he wasn't. He was in a four-seater limousine. There was only two people in the car, the driver, the bodyguard, him and his wife. Uh, uh, if you go watch some of the footage now, and even if you're like, but I, I, dude, I distinctly remember the same way you remember what you had for lunch yesterday. People are like distinctly remembering this and they're going, look at the footage and the evidence and what they see is that it isn't the truth. It was a six seater. And some of the examples, some of the explanations is that it's an alternative reality. We're living in a, the simulation is glitching because we're living in a simulation or it might be false memories. Like somehow you have created a fabrication just the same way that when you close your eyes and you dream at night and that dream feels so real. And, 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 and you wake up and you're like, holy shit, that was a dream? Was that a dream, really? And I don't want to bring on Inception, but it's like, whoa, that's what your brain can do. Now, of course, maybe if it could do that when you're asleep, maybe it could have created a false memory. But like for the whole general population, this is some interesting stuff that I've just like found. Conspiracy theory or truth is not the question. I think the question is, why have I not asked it? And what are people saying? What are they answering? And then you start digging and you start checking. So that was some of the interesting stuff. And just the last one that I want to, excuse me, touch on. Oh, note to self, pineapple and plum is not a eat before a live thing <laughs> snack. The last thing I want to talk to you about is a conspiracy that were, this is wild. Listen, okay, I'm going to predicate this. I'm going to just like, what is that? Here's a disclaimer. Please note that the views expressed by Etienne are <laughs> like this one is 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 out there, okay? And and I don't know. I haven't really dug in on it a little a lot. I, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments. Tell me if you know anything about it, or if you have any other conspiracies that you might have had, or if I missed some of the ones that have been real. That you're like, yo, these conspiracies have been proven. Etienne, these are the ones. Let me know in the comments. If we end the live and you didn't get a chance to, and you want to catch up on the conversation, you can always click on the link in my bio. Go to YouTube every evening around about ten ish after I put my daughter to sleep. I put the live replay on but you're also able to continue the conversation in our Telegram group, which is freaking amazing. And like on the side, there's like earn income opportunities too that you can click on explore it. I'm just trying to add value. But back to this conspiracy thing. This one is wild, okay? And, and the reason why it's wild is because I, I can't really tell you how, how I can prove, how to prove it without, the, without a shadow of a doubt to prove that it doesn't, it's not real. So here, there's a theory that birds aren't real. Okay, now, now, when I say birds, I'm not just talking about the sky rats, the pigeons. I, I'm talking about the prachtige swalki, och die mooi flamink. I'm talking about the peacocks, all the birds, all the birds. And I get it, I eat chicken too. I freaking love chicken. Grill it, deep fry it, even the German way. Make it into like the most German meal I've ever heard of is schnitzel because nowhere else am I going to use like the babies of the thing to cook the mother in. Anyway, <laughs> but but like I, I eat chicken and I'm like, yep, I've never had like ooh, LED lights. Oh, gross. Oh, gross. But there's a theory that says that birds are not real. This conspiracy. Birds are not real. There are one, a hologram or a projection that's, that's literally just used as a way to help make the simulation more realistic. They don't really sing. There's no sounds. There's speakers and things. It's everywhere else. It's actually playing off on a specific time and playing sounds and things. And those are, are played at a very unique frequency that affect your brain and your all sorts of other things. Plus, there's mechanical birds, like little, think, Terminator but tweety size. And these terminated tweety size birds, sometimes even the rat sky rats, are like designed to spy on you, are used to sort of like keep an eye on what the population is doing, monitoring new sort of like subliminal messaging and things that's happening within, and all the birds are fake. Now, like I say, I eat chicken. And I love chicken. I don't know if that could be fabricated. Somebody somewhere is just producing it so that you can forget to even think about the fact that birds are real or not. I've talked to birds as in like, a, you know, when they sing outside and you saw them sing with them. You got an inflated smile to feel. 
You know what I mean when I say whistle, but I whistle with them and they whistle back and everything. So I'm like, okay, this is out there. But if it's true, if birds, t- if birds turn out to be fake, and I grew up with a bunch of young kids that like shot them with the slingshot and then you ate the bird and you cooked it in the felt and stuff like, ugh, Davis elected me. And Verfuna is also, but anyway, like there's this like, there's, there's a thing. Like I, I grew up like that and I'm like, oh, I never hit no, none of that happened. So, so, so if it is that this turns out to be true, that there is a simulation for birds so that you can think that you're actually here. And if there are mechanical birds out there, I just want to know why. Why? Give me the truth. All right, let me quickly go to you guys in the comments. Let's find out what you guys have to say about the whole conspiracy stuff. I know we kind of went in. And I was just scratching the surface. There's this thing called the conspiracy theory chart. And it's like this iceberg. And, and the tip of the iceberg is like some of the stuff we've been talking like the Illuminati, 2012, global warming, corporations, the media. And like as soon as you go like under it, then it's like 9-11, JFK, the World Banks, the Deep Web, Pizzagate, all oh, those pedophile bastards, the Bilderberg Group, and all the chemtrails, and all this stuff, flat earth. And, and then it gets even deeper into like stuff that I was even like, whoa, wait a second, what are you talking about? I'll share this in the Telegram group so that you can see what I'm talking about. But you can even Google it. Just be like, uh, conspiracy theory chart. I think it'll come up. But let's have a look and see what you guys have to say about some of these conspiracy theories that you might have known about or you didn't know. Uh, ha, <laughs> this, is, this is from Wild Spore. Ha, fruity, but isn't Canada meant to be quite progressive? Yeah, like this was back in the day. Like honestly, the reference to the to the gaydar machine because that's the, what what the, like the fruit thing, uh, the fruit machine. This was where is the date? I'm just gonna quickly get the date. Not 1962. They poisoned the alcohol during prohibition. Like the government, I don't know if they're really serious about wanting to help us. But it was like in the early 1920, 1930, 1940s, right? So it was like around about that same time that Roswell and people, were, let's talk about that time people were communicating and getting information like based on Telegram and if your horse could get there or the boat got there in time. So it was around that period that they were like, yeah, <laughs> let's scan people's eyes and show them some gay porn. <laughs> and if the pupil gets big, then they get fired. Ridiculous. Like, where did they come from with this thing? Like, what makes you less qualified as an employee or better that if you're not gay? It, anyway, it's a stupid thing. But these are some of the conspiracies that turned out to be true. Um, and Canada's not like that anymore. We love the Great White North. They are probably a model for everyone else. Who? And this is the thing. You must never forget great people or people you admire or the people in the limelight, their past is just as shoddy and as dark and as filled with some troubles and trials as the rest of us. It's just that everybody doesn't talk about that because it's not too nice to talk about that. It's better to just like, oh, Linda, you know, I know, yeah, I know, I used to just like sit on children in the park. I didn't do anything. I just like sat on them and then she's like, ha, 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 ha. But now I don't do that. I build parks. Like, yeah, I know it's weird, but that's like the kind of stuff. Uh, Aisha, hi, Aisha. So good to meet you. Aisha was in uh, one of the work Workshop. She was in the workshop this weekend. Oh, it was fabulous. And, and, and I hope you really got to apply some of the stuff that we, we spoke about. Um, Wild Spore. It was up, Wild Spore. I hope you are into like DMTs and like hallucinogens. That's another thing that's like tied into conspiracy theories. Like people that take LSD or that the CIA used to use LSD in the MK Ultra Pro Mind Control Pro. I mean, dude, and you can, like, I've been to trans parties, okay? I have had my fair share of papichis and <laughs> the rest of it. And the thing is, hallucinogenics are literally just a, and I'm not advocating drug use, please understand, this is not something that you should just, like, don't just go and eat some mushrooms you found in your backyard. You really need to do some research. Information is so much more important than just the result. Get the information and go and explore it a little and see what happens. You don't have to do it yourself, but I've done it for you even. So, it, well, not even for you, but I've done it, and it was amazing. It, had hi- it highlighted a lot of my perception, which was really great. It helped me get a new sense of understanding of my place in the world. It wasn't like, Kill FW declare. <laughs> Shoot the boot. None of that. <laughs> but that's what they used in, in the CIA, dude, to like program people to overthrow governments and to get like weird information. Really, really strange. Um, uh, trade with 
Shoops. Oh, also, if you're a trader looking to trade stuff, go. He, he commented, cool fact, cockroaches survived the atom bomb. Very true. Cockroaches also will live longer when you cut off their head and they don't die because they're bleeding or whatever. They die because they can't eat. But if you're into Forex and trading and stuff, go into, click on his profile. You'll learn so much and you'll actually gain so much more value and you'll stop losing money. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, the Masons. Like, wait, wait, what do they do that? No, that's the, the all-seeing eyes, Musnadi, the Illuminati. The Freemasons, now the, the beautiful thing about the history about the Bavarian Illuminati and like the Freemasons and everything, if you start digging into like the skull and bones and like the 33 and all the, the what you'll start identifying is that these were a bunch of like people that were involved in trade. Builders, alchemists, blacksmiths, people that were like shunned. They were the outcasts of the societies. And the thing is that they were like only, they weren't really well educated. They just had trades and things and they decided that they were going to uplift themselves and do their own thing. Really interesting. Go read up about it. But a lot of the Mason and Masonic teachings and things like that are built in like some weird esoteric principles and shit <laughs> but a lot of it is not as dark as what they make out but i'm not uh, i'm not advocating masonry i'm not a mason myself i don't think they've even sent me an invitation i once put up a gum tree ad when i tried to like sell my soul which was a horrible thing i was delusional and it didn't work anyway um because it's not mine to sell in the first place but in any case it's interesting to read up about the masons just to go check that bloodline stuff we were talking about Ooh, ooh, them and the uncle brother dad are left they've incest up in the Uncle, brother, dad, five guys, huh? Ooh, incestuous bastards. But that's an interesting one too. Again, tied into a bunch of companies. I don't know why. I'm not saying it's the truth. I'm just saying it's funny. It's strange. Uh, Mr. Snowden, hey man, how goes it today? Today's going fabulous. It's Monday, Valentine's Day, but ik vergeet it. So I've got to make it up to my wife tonight. Any tips would be appreciated. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 5G towers, oh. Quickly, on the 5G towers, there's a theory that says that the 5G towers work in conjunction with the COVID and vaccine. And I don't know how much truth is in there, but from what I know, I come from telecoms as well. Like I worked in telecommunications as well. I don't think that some of the interfaces or even the RFID chips and the rest of it are, big, are small enough. Like, sure, nano. We can talk nanotechnology and sure, you know, of course, that's the kind of thing that they would say, propaganda, whatever. But like I, I'm familiar from what I've done my research on. It's, I think they're too big. To fit in a needle so it's a maybe like to control your frequency we, we live in a vibrational universe best believe that's why sometimes if somebody walks oh yeah oh my energy feels off mm, if you take it until five man oh me and then it turns out ah vibe was right you felt it you live in a vibration of um, um you're a vib you're living in a vibration at a specific frequency and it's like a radio station if you change different frequencies you'll tune into different stations and yeah maybe the 5g towers are going to do that i am hoping it doesn't because i'm looking forward to the high-speed internet uh how's a brother con cameron nell cameron nell who's that like that you hear area 51 or is it area 52 <laughs> area 53 if you start digging there was a bunch of others and interesting thing they proved in 1994 that the roswell crash that they said was an uh, air balloon it was it was an alien and people like it wasn't it was actually tactical equipment used to spy on the russians back in the day and they just were trying to hide the fact that they were doing the spy equipment thing and they were like okay yeah it's a weather balloon and others like no it isn't it's a freaking ufo and they're like wow that's even better than our stupid story yeah go ahead and 1994 it was like yeah okay true by the way roswell was actually just like spy equipment weird right again conspiracy that turned out to be not true but in some cases mm, that stuff is true uh it's usually easy to distinguish between green screen stuff and real stuff uh i somehow somewhat agree with you not with the fact that we are now capable of shooting at 8k Raw, you can shoot 4K at 120 frames per second. Now, if, if you're not in, like into like that kind of thing, you don't really know what I'm talking about. That's like, it is getting, and with the advances in the Unreal Engine, go do a quick search on the Unreal Engine and go see what they did, the Matrix movie and, 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 and the Matrix game and the rest of it. We're getting close to where we are living. A hop, skip and a jump away from being in a simulation or creating a simulation to be in, which then allows us to ask the question, could it be possible that we're in a simulation within a simulation within a simulation? Okay, I didn't even know about the Mandela effect. Whoa, dude, read up about it. It's amazing. Ford logo, another one. Just go look at the Ford logo. Continue the conversation in the Telegram group. Love to hear from you. Z, welcome. You made it. Parrots aren't real either. There's a New York Times article about birds aren't real. 
Yeah, you see what I mean? I'm starting to say like, why are people saying things? Why would they say it? What is the purpose? What are you gaining? As the New York Times, what are you gaining? Fine, propaganda, people control. We saw what happened in, New- in, in World War II. We saw what they did. But I mean, come on, guy. In the age of information where ignorance is a choice, you can verify stuff like that. People are able to find out who you cheated on and how many other baby mamas you have without your even getting ready to know that they all know about each other. And it will be online. There'll be a fan page ready because information is so freely available. I'm just saying. And you get people who believe anything they read, hear, or say. True. That's also why I say do the research yourself. I'm not saying any of this stuff is true. I'm just saying it's interesting enough to have the conversation and find out. Ask the question why. Butterfly effect. Woo, it's got langi angan. So true. Uh, vital for us to do research. True. Some of the conspiracy theories I've actually been proven to be true, like harp. Oh, dude. Z's hitting up, you know the weather control machine? I don't know if you guys remember that uh, Top Gear episode with uh, Jeremy Clarkson. They were like, all right, we're standing here outside of what the NASA's calling the absolute largest weather machine. Now, they are going to show us that this 50 million horsepower device will generate rain. And what did it do? It freaking generated rain. There was some some chatter and some rumors going around that in Vietnam, during that war in Vietnam, the Americans, the whole administration was making it rain so it was more difficult for the Vietnamese troops to move around and like show how or show whom or how sham. I can't remember the place's name, but I did read an article on it. But it's insane. And they proved that the hot thing is true. They can manipulate weather. And it's so tied into that whole hologramic projection project blue book. Read in on that. Ooh. Interesting. Papi cheese, I'm just saying. Uh, auntie, sister, mother. Exactly, auntie, sister, mother, and uncle, brother, dad. That's them and the Masons. <laughs> they had to keep the bloodline pure. It's interesting. And if you are into religion and you start looking at, like, the, start exploring it, I'm not saying look at your religion and start debunking it. Start looking at it to get a deeper understanding of what it might mean for you. You'll start seeing bloodlines are important. Just saying. The moon landing, guys. Biggest lie in history. Woo! If you believe it, click on the link in the telegram. Let's chat about it. Metaverse. That is the, the simulation. That's the argument. Two more minutes before we go. That's the argument. That the simulation within the simulation is legitimately going to be the metaverse. That's why it's being pushed so hard. That's like the Zucks and the rest of these guys are trying to captivate as much of the market early. And they are, have been buying up all the startups, all of the small businesses that will allow them to buy them up that are evolving and developing tech apps, interfaces, all sorts of stuff to do with the virtual reality because they understand that this is like, (gasps) do you really think that's air you're breathing? Woo, I can't wait, it's exciting. (laughs) Uh, They do it in Dubai, apparently it's called rain farming. I've seen this. I've even seen that, the thing in Dubai where they can actually, (laughs) it's phenomenal. And before they used to say, never, never friend, I'm telling you, let me say, never, hey, Hamlet, hey, let me, that is halas, it's no way they make rain, never, it comes only from heaven, let's see, and then what happened? Uh, listen, brother, I need rain, yes, 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 crops not doing very good, no, 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 no. just a little bit, five, ten millimeters, no, old enough, okay, I transfer gold, <laughs> how is your sister, hello? <laughs> I'm just, since they were so prejudiced, I love my, I want to visit Dubai so bad, I just, but I'm just saying, you're right, they did it in the UAE. Uh, Selling to create rain, uh, Project Blue Beam. That's it, Project Blue Beam. An interesting topic to research. All right, listen, we've run out of time. I had such a great time just talking about conspiracy or truth. Like I said, I'm not coming out here to make up the, the mind. Can we try again? I'm not coming here to try to make up your mind. Yeah, yeah, let's use take two. But all I'm trying to get you to do is understand that there are these types of questions that are being asked. There are these kinds of things, there's this type of information that is available out there and it is available freely. You can choose the sources based on what you believe to be a reliable source. But all I'm asking you is to do the research yourself. Go and scratch the itch. Check it out. Who knows? Next thing, we're all going to be standing in the spaceship. And I'll be like, yo, my bro, remember that TikTok live? (laughs) You're amazing. Remember you matter. Shine your light. 
Uh, I'd love to just direct your attention one more time to the links in my bio. Click on the stuff you can win. I oh, not win. You can get some, earn some money, and you can connect with some loving, beautiful souls to continue the conversation offline. You've been beautiful. I'll see you tomorrow. Special guest. Ah, I left until the end. You waited until the end, and I left you. I've got a special guest tomorrow. I'm not going to tell you who it is, but we're going to be talking about exactly what we were supposed to be talking today. But you're going to hear it tomorrow. So I love light, happiness, joy, prosperity, and clarity. Is all I wish for you, and then some. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your day. Go shine your light. See you tomorrow. All right, let's quickly go. Bye bye. Oh, go say how so in these. Bye bye. Uh, they used to fool us and saying we will have to go to pray for the rain in a few hours. Oh, I see. Bye. We're gonna talk more on the Telegram. Bye.